All right, I shared this video on my community page earlier this morning. Um, a lot of folks probably won't even pay attention to it because it's on my community page. Therefore, I wanted to share this with y'all that just watch my videos, you know, um, that part of my uh, channel. And I greatly appreciate that from y'all that watch my videos for the simple fact that you will hear a moth in truth. A moth is the obrit word um, that we use instead of truth. Truth is the English word. I'm going to play this for you. It's only 3 minutes and 42 seconds. I want those of y'all that are um, that are celebrating this holiday to watch this for the simple fact that most of y'all do not agree that Seamus is pagan. This is Pat Robertson. I have no respect for this man, but most uh, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-A-N-S's do, which I used to be uh, four years back. I want you to hear him explain to you why Seamus is pagan and the things thereof that are pagan. You will also hear, or you will hear the lady on here make the most famous excuse. It's all within, you know, it's, it's, he knows our, you know, they say heart. <clears throat> then Pat Robertson, this man here, that is well respected in the Sanity group, um, admits that he partakes of it after all the explanations. So I, I just want you to take a time and listen to this video. Um, yeah. This is David who says, we have friends who do not celebrate Christmas because they say December 25th is really a pagan holiday. While I agree that Jesus may not have been born on December 25th, he certainly was born as described in the Bible. How do I respond to them? Well, in a sense, tell them they're right. Um, you see, the, the, the winter solstice a couple of days later was the shortest day of the year. And the pagans had something called Saturnalia. And it was a time of lawlessness because all the laws were suspended. And people, the, a bunch of singers were actually wandered the streets naked singing. And, and then they had orgies, sexual orgies. It was a mass thing. Well, when the Catholic Church came along in Italy, the, the Romans and others didn't want to give up their holidays, so they said, okay, we'll Christianize it. And uh, so they said, okay, we'll say the birth of Jesus was the 25th of December. They, th then there was a, a monk who began to add it up. You see, uh, if you read in Luke, it, it says there's a census taken when Quirinius was governor and so forth and so on. And uh, they they could take those leaders and figure the exact time dating from the foundation of Rome. And that's when the dates were established. And so they get pretty close to the date. But uh, to say it's the 25th shepherds were out abiding in the field, it gets a little cold at night. I mean, were they out there in the middle of winter? Uh, you know, I don't know. I've been out there on the shepherd's field at, on Christmas Eve. It's very nice. But it's cold. And nevertheless, I mean, what was going on? So, all this business about mistletoe, pagan. Christmas trees, pagan. Giving out gifts, pagan. Every bit of it is pagan. Every single bit of it is pagan. We've Christianized it all. And uh, so that's good. And so we have time. We celebrate for Jesus. And everybody gets all misty-eyed. But the truth is, we, they're all pagan. <laughs> but the so birth the of Jesus. But the intent of the heart is what it's about. Exactly. So we have Christianized mm -hmm. all these things. We give gifts in the name of Jesus. We celebrate his birthday. And uh, it's a nice thing. And so I'm, I'm very delighted. And I like Christmas. And I like, but I tell you, the best Christmas I ever spent in all of my life. My best Christmas all of my life was spent in Jerusalem uh, when we had no Christmas ornaments, no, none of this stocking, none of this, you know, all this stuff. But on Christmas Eve, we stood in Shepherd's Field and we sang, O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. 
And uh, the next day we had a service, and on Christmas Day we baptized about 50-some people in the Jordan River. That was a wonderful Christmas. Amen. <laughs> All right. Okay, thanks for those questions. I hope I didn't shock you. I, I, I'm not being irreverent, but it's the way it is. So when I mean, you put in your tree up. Huh? <laughs> I've got, you know, I finally got one of those fake trees, and it's beautiful. It's already pre-lit, and you just plug those little the joints best. in, stick it up, and plug them in, and all of a sudden you've, you've got a riot of light. I like all the decorations the founders in. It's just loaded with decorations. It's very pretty. But pagan. <laughs> all, right. but all to celebrate Jesus. Yeah, but, right. but, but Christianized pagan. All right. There you go. All right, there you go. Uh, I don't know if y'all all if y'all know that Pat Robertson is a Freemason, just like Billy Graham is a Freemason. This is all out there in factual facts, historical facts. Pat Robertson being a Freemason, they're going to tell you pretty much the truth up front about a lot of things. Then they're going to turn around and partake of it, of course, because it is of their worship. Um, those of y'all that like Mr. Pat Robertson, well, <laughs> he just told you that Seamus is all pagan. Now, those of y'all that want to uh, basically say it's all about JC, well, it is all about JC because you don't know who JC is. JC is not our Hamashiach. He's not the Messiah. JC, um, basically, you know... <laughs> He is a uh, shod, a demon himself. Oh, no. Did I really say that? Yes, I did. I really spoke that uh, because I've done my research in that. Um, that's why JC's birthday is celebrated at Semus. Yahusha, our Hamashiach, Yahuwah, our maker, our creator, our Abba, his band, his, you know, his own. We say we speak ban instead of S O N uh, is Yahusha. Yahusha, Yahweh have absolutely nothing to do with these worldly worldly holidays. Alright? Uh, or H O L Y days. You can research the word H O L Y. You'll find out that's um, a a pagan word, exactly. I just wanted to share that with y'all, um, maybe to, to open a few of your eyes, um, maybe to bring them off the truth to you that nobody else would, um, by letting you hear it come from one of your own. All right. The whole origin of Seamus originates from uh, Nimrod. I don't even want to speak his name. What people call E M I N I M R O D, that's where it all originates from. Um, the followers and the worshippers of B A apostrophe A L, which is the evil one, the evil Akkad him himself. All right, Shalom from Hilltop Hallel, Halal Yahuwah.